A remarkable game at the MCG. North Melbourne by 54 over Sydney after trailing by five goals at half time. West Coast by 45 over Geelong. A contest uh, for about a quarter and a half and then they got on top. Carlton by... Uh, look to the left. That's the amount of games that the teams have played. So you can see that Melbourne and Collingwood are the only two teams to have played six matches. The first figure after the team's name is their match ratio. West Coast, Essendon both with 100. And the final figure is the percentage. So the six at the moment, West Coast, Essendon, Geelong, Melbourne, Carlton and Collingwood. Uh, Hawthorne have got a great chance of going in there today. They play Fitzroy and the other game, Footscray and Adelaide. A pretty important one for both of those teams, as you can see, as we look at some of the highlights from this brilliant round. And speaking of brilliance, has this young man set football alight, Cuthbertson, for the second consecutive week, seven goals. And the way he can win the ball one out was fascinating on Thursday. Interesting one here. Uh, Keogh didn't look fit enough to take his kick. Uh, Peter Cameron insisted he did. Uh, I think he handed it over to Ford, uh, and Keogh missed that. He kicked a point from about 25 metres out. Well, as Pete McKenna says, if his legs are right, here's Cuthbertson again, one out against Banks this time. He, he beat two or three different opponents, and he's given John Northey an extra dimension. Off Melbourne and uh, Collingwood. Great uh, game for two and a half quarters, and uh, Bernie Quinlan and Ron Barassi were two of the panel that were out there, Bernie. Yes, Bruce. Well, uh, Melbourne played particularly well and they've shown that the form against North Melbourne the week before was no fluke. And a couple of very impressive players coming into that side. I gave the votes to Darren Cuthbertson and he's one of the players who's been very impressive. Seven goals against North Melbourne and now another seven goals against Collingwood. Brett Lovett playing across that half-back line as steady as ever. He continu continually drove Melbourne into the forward line. And Todd Viney, the other player I gave a vote to, who's uh, having a great season across the centre line on the ball. Added a lot of strength, I think, Ron, to the Melbourne side. Really, with his desperation, he's showing the way to a lot of, lot of the Melbourne players. Yes, I didn't give him a vote myself because I felt he didn't do enough with his uh, possession. But, uh, and he got, or got caught a bit with the ball. But he, he has, uh, this is his best year to date, and he is adding a lot of bite around the packs, no question of that. And their stars in attack, uh, even though Owen was quiet, was pretty well. Uh, probably Carlton, sorry, Collingwood should have been in front by a bigger margin well, Colin, early in the game, but it still wouldn't have made any difference to the result. They did have a lot of chances early in the game and wasted them. There's a player who's not playing well, that's Peter Dacos. He's playing very much in a, a similar vein to Brad Hardy, I feel, at the moment, Ron, and that is he's not attacking the ball. If he's not kicking four or five goals, he's doing nothing. Is he and in I, the comfort zone, dude? He's in the comfort zone. Well, he was on uh, Thursday, Bob, because uh, he was sitting back waiting for things to happen rather than making things happen himself, and Dacos must lift his game. Bernie, uh, I was interested to read after the after that game, Lee Matthews mentioned there may be 12, even 14 players are maybe not there to, uh, if they are, to fight it out for the flag in this year. Could you name a couple and mightn't be there? Well, you could go through a lot of the players, I think, on uh, Thursday, Ron. I think... Uh, well, Tony Shaw was quiet, but you Tony Shaw was you very quiet. Even under any sort of question, could you, really? No, Nothing you couldn't. the second game yeah. back, though, from injury, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. I think well, it's important I th that you mention a guy's name, Dyson, for Melbourne. <laughs> He's yeah. been a very important player on Thursday and the week before. Very, very competent. There's just something Picks about Collingwood, Ron. I think their skill level is fairly ordinary at the moment. And Manson is one of those players in the similar vein to Warwick Kappa. When he gets the ball in, he tr no one tries harder than uh, James Manson, but his disposal is shocking.